In episode two of our Illustrator series, we're going to take a look at just creating basic shapes. Most of the work that you do in Illustrator will be built out of shapes and lines and curves and things like that. So as we go through this series of lessons, we'll look at, at just how to do those kinds of things. In the interest of keeping this movie short, uh, we're just going to look at basic shapes. We'll get into coloring later on in another movie, but let's go to work on this. I've already created a document in Adobe Illustrator. Over on the left hand side you'll find the tool panel. Um, sometimes the tool panel will be single column like this and if there's a little double arrow in the top corner of the tool panel and if you click that you can make it a double wide tool panel. That's what I kind of prefer but it's up to you. Um, now there's there are tools over here that will let you build, draw or build basic shapes. So for example, here's a line segment tool, and it's easy. Click, drag, let go, and you've got a line segment. Now later we'll get into things like can you add arrowheads on the end of that line? Can you change the line to a dotted line? Sure, you can. And we'll get into that later. Now right up here where it says stroke, uh, you can bump that up a little bit if you want a thicker line. We're not going to deal with color in this movie, but you can change the color of the line. We'll get into that later. This tool is the rectangle tool, but one thing that you'll find that is true about Illustrator is that the, any tool that has a little tiny white triangle in the corner, if you click and hold, you'll see other t um, options on the tool pop out. And so you can see here that uh, th there's a rectangle and rounded rectangle and ellipse, and you see all those options that you have. Now, to, build, to draw a rectangle, it's really pretty easy. You just click and drag and let go. And you can make rectangles of whatever size and dimensions that you really feel like you want. Now, if you want to restrain the tool to a perfect square, if you hold down the shift key while you draw, hold the shift key and drag the rectangle tool, that locks it in to being a perfect square. All right, so that's a good little tip. And I'm not really going to make anything in this. Later as we go through this series of movies, we'll start to make an actual diagram of something. Right now I'm not going to. I'm just showing you some tool tips. Now if I click and hold here and go to a rounded rectangle, I can click and drag and it will draw, as you might guess, a rounded rectangle. Now there are ways to round uh, this, these little dots that are in the, in the corner. If you drag those, you can round the corners more, or you can push those dots out toward the corner and they'll be rounded a little bit less. And so you can adjust the roundness of the corners of a rounded rectangle. The ellipse tool will help you draw ovals of different dimensions like that. And if you hold down the shift key while using the ellipse tool, you can draw a perfect circle. All right, so it's a lot like the rectangle tool there. If you hold the shift key, it constrains the proportions and makes it a perfect square or a perfect circle depending on the tool that you're using. The polygon tool, and there's always, there's always more than one way to do something in an illustrator, but the polygon tool can help you make a variety of shapes. And here's one way to do it. Click and hold and, and select the polygon tool come to your artboard and click one time and you'll get a dialog box. Now the radius has to do with how big the shape is going to be and then of course here's the number of sides. So for example if I want to do a triangle I could set the sides to three, click OK and then you can see my triangle. If I click in a new spot and I say well I, I, want, a, I want a hexagon so I'll go back to six on the sides and I'll click OK I've got a hexagon. Click in a new spot. If I want an octagon, I can set the sides to 8. Click OK. So you can draw any regular polygon using the polygon tool. Just click in an empty spot, and it could have you know as many sides as you want, 16 sides. It begins to look more like a circle, of course, the more sides you add. Um, but you can work with the number of sides that you wish. Now, that would be obviously another way to draw a square. If it's got a 50 point radius and it's uh, four sides then you wind up with a perfect square. It's another way to do it. I'm also going to show you the star tool. Uh, I'm not going to show you the flare tool. You see it right there but I'm, gonna, I'm not going to do that one today. The star tool works very similar to the polygon tool. If you click once and you can set two radius settings and the number of points. Now you can kind of dabble around with those to see what they do. But for example, if I want a five-pointed star, I click OK, and you'll see 
a five-pointed star. If I click in a new spot, I can make it an eight-pointed star and click OK, and I've got an eight-pointed star. Now, of course, you can set as many star points as you feel like you want to set. The one last thing I want to show you, and I'm going to select all of these and delete them, and we'll get into that later. But the one last trick that I want to show you that kind of goes along with making basic shapes, I'm going to draw a circle right here. If you use the black arrow, the selection tool, which, by the way, you'll use a lot, I'm going to use the selection tool. If you are building a diagram and you need more than one of something, for example, I've drawn this circle. Perhaps I want more circles. I want to. I, I, I want to do a Deb Fish circle diagram. Oh, just kidding. Or I want to. As we go on through this series of movies, I'm going to show you. We'll just make a diagram of an atom. If you select that circle with the black arrow tool, with the selection tool, hold down the Alt key on the keyboard and then drag the circle with the mouse, you can make duplicate copies. And that can really be a time saver and it can be really helpful depending on what you're trying to make, depending on what you're trying to draw. Alt drag with the black arrow tool and that will give you duplicate copies of your item. Now, you know, another thing that we'll get into later is aligning things and making sure that things are nice and lined up. But again, you know, as we go through this series, I, I'm going to make a little diagram of an atom and you'll see me use that trick a lot, that alt drag. All right, that's going to wrap it up for this session. And uh, in our next movie, what we're going to do is get into color. You know, obviously, these are just black and white. So how do you work with color, and what are your options with color? And we'll talk about that in the next movie.